In this video, we're looking at subsidies. We're looking at the basics of what a subsidy is and then how do we draw the diagram. Okay, if we come over to the left side here and we have a look, okay, so what is a subsidy? So we've got here, a subsidy is cash payments to domestic producers, right? So the cash payments go from the government to domestic producers. This allows domestic producers to reduce their prices and increase how much they can sell. So this is very much a form of protection. One thing that's also important to note is that a subsidy is government spending. It is an example of G. The government has to allocate money to pay for the subsidy. If you think about different forms of protection, a tariff, for example, this is a form of government revenue, which is T. Now, it's not primarily used to earn revenue, but that is the impact of a tariff. Okay, let's move over to the actual diagram of a subsidy. So you can see we've got P and Q as per usual, call that our supply curve and our demand curve. Okay, so if we set it up here, so we can see that we've got price equilibrium and quantity equilibrium. So this here is uh, pre-subsidy. So no subsidy has been paid just yet. Okay, then the government decides, okay, we need to help, we need to protect, we need to support our domestic producers. And so they decide to pay a subsidy. Now this will create a new supply curve, an increase in supply. So then if I've got a subsidy that has given money to producers, which allows them to reduce their prices and also produce more. Sorry, that should be Q1. So the impact of the subsidy here is that a reduction in price and an increase in quantity. So let's have a closer look at the subsidy diagram. You can see the diagram here. We've got a reduction in price and increase in quantity from this movement here. So a subsidy results in lower prices and higher quantities. So you might say, well, this is good for consumers. But I might not put that and might say a question mark. And the reason that I say this is because a subsidy is um, G. It's a cost to government. So, consumers will pay for the subsidy through their tax. So, in effect, it's kind of like saying consumers will get lower prices, but it will cost them some of their income. So in that way, consumers will indirectly pay for a subsidy.